Hi, boys and girls. My name is Aunt Fran, and I'm excited you've joined us. Come along with me to a neighborhood Bible club. Join me and other children. Sing songs with us. Hear some Bible stories. Come learn about our kind, loving Heavenly Father. You'll get a glimpse of what Neighborhood Bible Club is all about. Parents, church leaders, Neighborhood Bible Club's passion is to provide tools to help you reach children in your neighborhood. You and the children will be meeting a character named Armor Ron, who symbolizes what any child can become when he or she believes and obeys God's Word. Aunt Fran and Armor Ron are simply a picture of what can happen in any neighborhood anywhere. They represent God's calling to His church to reach out and tell the good news of Jesus Christ to children everywhere. If you would like more information about how you or your church can implement Neighborhood Bible Club, visit our website at www.neighborhoodbibleclub.com or call or write to us. And so, without further ado, won't you come along to Neighborhood Bible Club? Boys and girls, welcome. I'm so glad you came to Neighborhood Bible Club. I know some of you are here for the very first time. Today you're going to learn right along with the rest of us how to become God's child and how to be a good soldier of Jesus Christ. God's children are in God's army. To be a good soldier, you need to have your armor on. That is your battle suit. In God's word in Ephesians, we are told to be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. We are told to put on the full armor of God so that we can take our stand against the devil's tricks. How do you become fully covered with God's armor so that not even a little part of you is exposed to the flaming arrows of the devil? Obey God's word. When you hear a Bible lesson, believe that it's true and do what it says. That way, you are putting on God's armor. That way, you are being an armor Ron. That's what I call someone who's God's child and who wears God's spiritual armor. Do you understand? Armor on, armor Ron. God's spiritual armor and weapons are available to every child of God. You can't see it, but it's covering you, protecting you. Boys and girls, be an armor Ron. Listen carefully today. Believe and obey the Bible. Become an armor Ron. Today we will review together the Bible lessons, Lord, Teach Me to Pray. Let's begin our time together with prayer. Everyone, bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for answering our prayers and loving us when we don't deserve it. Help us all to listen and learn from you today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Remember in the Bible we learned that God is one God, but three persons in God? What are the names of those three persons? Colin? God the Father, God the Son, Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit. That's right. Very good, Colin. God the Father, God the Son, Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit. Jesus made everything in heaven and on the earth. We've learned how he left his heavenly home and he came to our earth. 
And he had followers, which were called, what were they called? What was their name? Josh? Disciples. The disciples. And what did the disciples ask Jesus? What did he ask? Lindsay? Lord, teach me to pray. Yes. He taught those who followed him how to pray. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. I need five volunteers. Who wants to read the first sentence? Okay, Oliver. The second one? Ian, the third one, Colin, and then let's do Lindsay. And who wants to say amen? Mackenzie and Taylor, you say that together. Okay, let's start. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The disciples of Jesus wanted him to teach them how to pray. Let's sing our theme song together with our hand motions. And boys and girls, you who are watching, you sing along with us. Lord, teach me to pray. Jesus say we should pray to? Oliver. Our Father in Heaven. Yes, and what did we find out about our Father in Heaven? Is He mean and cruel? Is He awfully mean to people or kind to people? What is He like? Colin. No, He's um, loving and kind and patient. Mm -hmm. And what does that remind you of? What story reminded you of that, Colin? Um, the Father and His two sons. Right. Who would like to say that story for us? Colin, would you remember this story? Could you just kind of put it in your own words? All right. There once was a son who asked his father to give him his share of the father's money. He wanted it right away, and his father gave it to him. The son went far away from home, and instead of spending his money the right way, he, um, he spent it wrongly. And... Um, after he spent all of his money, he became poor and hungry. He took a job feeding pigs in a pig pen, and he wished that he could um, go home again. And even the people who worked for his father had more food than he had. And he thought, I'll go home and ask my dad if I can work for him. And he, was, he thought to himself, I don't deserve to be treated like a son because I've been so wrong. Mm -hmm. Um, when he got there, his father saw him coming home. He felt love and forgiveness for his son. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him, and kissed him. Then he gave his son expensive clothes and shoes to wear, and he threw a big party for him. He gladly let his son come back to live with him. And how is this a picture of our Heavenly Father? The father in this story was loving, patient, and kind just like our Heavenly Father is to us when we go to Him for anything. He will always be patient with us and kind to us and He will always love us.
Love is patient, love is kind, love never fails. 1 Corinthians 13, verses 4 and 8. Boys and girls, let's sing our memory verse song together. Yes, our Father who art in heaven is patient and kind, and his love never fails. We also say in the Lord's Prayer, Thy will be done. Well, what does that mean? What is God's will? Lindsay, what is God's will? Doing God's will is living the way God wants us to live. And how does he want us to live? Does he want us to put ourselves first in everything? No, we are to serve others. Yes. We're beginning to see what it takes to be a good soldier of Jesus Christ and to put our armor on and become an armor on. If we had our way, we would want everyone to serve us. But the Bible says, if anyone wants to be first, he must be the very last and the servant of all. Mark 9, verse 35. Boys and girls, let's sing our memory verse song together. We know that our Father in Heaven is patient and kind, and we know that His will for us is to serve others. But what does it mean when it says, give us today our daily bread? Well, what is our daily bread? What does that mean? Colin? It means to ask God to give us whatever we need, like money to pay bills, food, and a bicycle to get to school. Yeah, I think that's very good. And how will God meet all our needs? Well, this time, I want you to answer me by singing the song and doing the hand motions, okay? Boys and girls, did you know that not everyone loves Jesus? Only those who have become a child of God truly love Jesus. Did you know that not everyone can call God their Heavenly Father? 
Our good news puppet told us the good news with flavored jelly beans. Do you remember what licorice stands for? Mackenzie. Arson. Arson, that is right. And then what about cherry? Josh. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. And what about vanilla? Yes, Lindsay. It stands for when Jesus wipes away our sin and when we're pure. That's right. And what about mint? Oh, Ian. What? Um, when plants grow and when you forgive people. When we forgive others. And what about lemon? Um, it's, the, it's the gold trees that we'll see when we go to heaven. That's right. Boys and girls, I can't wait until you see the puppet show at the kids' rally with the Good News Puppet, Jolly Jim Jelly Bean, Jennifer Jelly Bean, and big colored jelly beans of all the flavors. Yo, boys and girls, thanks for coming to the NBC Kids Rally. They call me Jim Jellybean, and this be Jean Jellybean. What's up, kids? We're hyped to be here today. Jean and I want to share some good news with y'all. Something you learn in NBC, something we hope you never forget. Jim, be talking about the jelly beans your teacher showed you every day in Bible club. Each jelly bean was a certain flavor, and each one reminded you of something the Bible tells us about Jesus. You remember the cherry jelly bean and the licorice jelly bean? The vanilla and mint jelly bean? And the lemon jelly bean. Jim, why don't we kick the good news funky style? Ah, uh, yeah, with the GN. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the good news, good news, good news. I gotta get the good news, good news, yeah. The world needs the good news, good news. I gotta get the good news, good news, yeah. The world needs the good news. Let me tell you about it. What's up, kids? Uh. I'm glad to see you came today to NBC. I got some news uh. that I got to tell, to tell. So listen tell. close and listen up well. Jesus loves you, uh. and this I know. For the Bible, it tells me so. The pain he felt uh. when he died for you. What boy you said I get is true I check out the color of cherry and see The blood of Jesus on a tree Just for you, he suffered and died His blood poured out from his side Good news, good news, believe it's true He's alive in heaven and he looks for you To become God's child But trust that in him, believe that Jesus takes away your sin You need the good news I gotta get the good news, good news, yeah Boys and girls yeah, Jim, that was kicking. I never see another cherry jelly bean without remembering how much Jesus loves me. So much that he died for me on the cross. And Gene, I'll never see another licorice flavored jelly bean without remembering. What the GMT say about sin? Sin is dark and stained. It shows the light. And got to be washed. And replaced with light. Thank you for taking the time today to listen to all that I got to say. To say. I look at the color of licorice to see the reason that Jesus died on the tree. Your okay. sin, your sin. Why Jesus had to die. And licorice shows you the reason why, why? it's dark, it's stained, it shows no light. It got to be washed and replaced with right. Only Jesus can wash away sin and make you clean and pure within. Because he got no sin of his own. Because he's got and he sits on the throne. Good news, good news. The stain is gone for Mary and Sue, for Pete, for John. Whoever believes that Jesus today will become God's child for Jesus the way. Hit it. Now if you got the licorice jelly bean and you wash it, what you got then? You got yourself a vanilla Hit jelly bean. Hit it. Bingo, Gene. The color we know is vanilla the show. How quickly the stain of your Hit sin it. will go. Hit it. By believing in Jesus. But Gene, ain't everybody believing in Jesus. Now everyone knows that our Heavenly Father will take care of all the needs of his children. Remember the song? And my God will meet all your needs according to Riches in Christ Jesus. Yeah, the verse is true. Your heavenly Father takes care of you with all the riches that Jesus brings. More power and wealth than all earth's kings. But all you got child and have you believe and trust it in Jesus who meets all your needs. Your need all your doubts. Not sure that it's true or that on the cross he died by you. Do it, be. The color we know as vanilla does show. How quickly the stains of our sins will go. Believing in Jesus is how to be saved. The show that you hear is by the way you all behave. Good news, good news. Today is today. To have all your sins taken away. You watch me cleanse. Become God's child. You hear and behold. No longer the files. You need the good news. You gotta get the good news, good news, yeah. Let's talk about the good news. Hit it. Jim, that is such good news. Our sins can be washed away by believing in Jesus. Hit it. Hit it. Yeah, Gene, but what flavor's next? So far, the GMP told us about the cherry jelly hit bean, it, it. the licorice jelly bean, and the vanilla jelly bean. You remember this group? Sing it, sing it now. All through the forest, this color is seen. Yo, Gene, I got it. That color be green. That's right, Jim. A mint jelly bean reminds us of God's gift. Since he has forgiven us of our sins, we can forgive.
forgive others and grow in his love like the tree in the forest. Ladies and gentlemen, here's some more news that I got to send about how the Lord can be your friend. But when you are his, there's a way y'all must live. live. With folks do your own, you gotta forgive. I take God's love, receive from him forgiveness in Jesus for all your sins. Sin. To show to others forgiveness and love, compassion and mercy from God above. Take the color, color. of men and you see how God's love can grow like a tree. A roots that are deep, branches so strong, but you gotta forgive those who do your wrong. Good news, good news. Now can't you see that Jesus is bloodshed on the tree? The tree. Redeems and saves both girls and boys. Become God's child of life's greatest joy. Jim, God forgives his children of their sins for how long? Gene, our sins are forgiven forever and ever. And ever and ever for eternity. That's a long time. Never ended. And when we are in heaven 500 million years from today, God will be with us and loving us and caring for us. Our next jelly bean, the lemon one, reminds us of heaven, where we will walk the streets of gold. And all those who are God's children will walk the streets of gold. And be with Jesus forever and ever and ever for eternity. Yo, GMP, kick it one last time. Yeah, one last time. I'm here to say what you gotta do to be saved today when your time's up and this life's ended and you face eternity where you gonna spend it eternity means to live forever in a cool place where there are never tears or fears but only love there and all of God's friends who really care when you leave this earth until yeah. you live in heaven on streets of gold but only God's children will ever see heaven and Jesus for eternity good news good news it's time to start to ask the Lord into your heart. heart He died for you, he's the one to choose And that my friend, 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 friend. It's called it Good News Boys and girls, dads and moms Uncles and aunts, grandpas and grandmas The GMP has explained to us the good news of Jesus Christ As told to us in the Bible These jelly beans are just a way to help us remember The truth that God wants everyone to know Gary. Jesus loves us and died for us Secret. Our sin is why Jesus had to die our sin is washed away by believing in Jesus. We can grow in God's love when we receive God's forgiveness and when we forgive others. Those who trust in Jesus will one day walk the streets of gold. And, and that's, that's good news. news. Yeah. Ah, yeah, Gene, that was smooth. Yeah, you didn't do too bad yourself, Jim. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> the Good News Puppet wants everyone to know that you must believe that Jesus is God and that you must invite him into your life to become a child of God. Our Father in Heaven is patient and kind. We know His will for us is to serve others, and asking God to give us our daily bread means to ask God to give us whatever we need to live. What does it mean to ask God to forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors? What does the word debt mean? Ian? Another way of saying sin. Right, and what is sin? We what is sin? Something. Yes. When you do something disrespectful to God. Something that displeases God, that's right. It's anything that doesn't please God, like sin or disobedience. We're asking God to forgive us our sins when we say, forgive us our debts. And we are to forgive others of their sins against us. We're to be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as in Christ God forgave you. Ephesians 4.32, let's sing that song together and do our hand motions. Be kind and to one another, forgiving each other just as in Christ God forgave you. We 
say in the Lord's Prayer, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Our Bible lesson showed us how Satan tempted Jesus to sin, hoping he would not go to the cross and die for our sins. But Jesus fought Satan and won. And how did Jesus fight Satan? How did he fight Satan? Yes, Colin. Every time Satan tempted Jesus, Jesus fought back with Scripture. That's right. Scripture is God's word from the Bible. Scripture lets us know what is true and what is a lie. Scripture slays the lies of Satan. That's why we should memorize Scripture so that we don't sin against God. Let's all stand and sing that memory verse together. Jesus went to the cross and died for us, even though Satan tried to stop him. Having Jesus go to the cross to pay for our sin was our Heavenly Father's way. It was His plan. That's how He planned to forgive us of all of our sins. How exciting! Neighbor Bob is here today, and he's going to show us how we can tell the good news, but with colors. Neighbor Bob! Bob, 
Please come back and visit us again. I'm concerned, boys and girls, that some of you here or watching today can't remember a time in your life when you trusted Jesus to save you from your sins. Maybe you have never asked our Heavenly Father to make you His child. Maybe you have never asked Jesus to forgive you of your sins. Jesus can and will forgive you of all your sins because of the punishment He took on the cross. He didn't stay dead, though. He rose from the grave and went back to heaven and longs for you to believe in Him. You can do that today. You can do that right now. Remember, Jesus hears your prayer, and He answers prayer. Why don't we bow our heads and pray? Dear Heavenly Father, I am a sinner, and I believe that Jesus paid for my sins by dying on the cross. I accept his gift of eternal life and invite Jesus into my life. Help me to learn the Bible so that I can stand against temptation and live a life pleasing to you. Thank you for making me your child. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. If you prayed that prayer for the first time, go tell someone who knows Jesus. Tell them that today you became a child of God. Boys and girls, I hope you never forget all that you learned from the Bible lessons. Lord, teach me to pray. Pray the Lord's Prayer when you get up in the morning and when you go to bed at night. Think about the Bible lessons you learned and sing the memory verses often. Remember, if you are a child of God, you are a soldier of Jesus Christ. You are in the army of God. To be a good soldier, you need to have your armor on. That is your battle suit. You need to know that Jesus has already conquered Satan and his spiritual armor and weapons are available to every child of God. Use those weapons God gives for you. What are those weapons? Scripture, the Bible, is a sword of the Spirit. Use the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God, to slay Satan when you are tempted to sin. Isn't that how Jesus defeated Satan in the wilderness? He used Scripture, God's Word, the sword of the Spirit. Put on the belt of truth. Do you realize that the sword of the Spirit is held by the belt of truth? Be a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Don't lie. If you live a life of lies, how can you expect to use the word of truth, God's word? In order to stand and not stumble, put on God's shoes of peace. Armor Ron, never take off your combat boots. Since you are God's child, your royalty and your sins are forgiven. You have made peace with God. Now tell others the good news so they too can have God's peace and wear the shoes of the gospel of peace. Your shield armor, Ron, protects you from spears, arrows, and fiery darts. When you hear God's word and believe it, you are lifting up your shield of faith. Satan wants to attack your mind. That's why the helmet of salvation you wear is so important. When you fill your thoughts with God's words and God's will, then Satan can't defeat you. Armor Ron, put on and keep on that helmet of salvation. The breastplate of righteousness is God's piece of armor that covers our heart and other important organs of our body. As a child of God, we have been made right in God's eyes by trusting in Jesus. But unless we live right, we can be attacked by Satan. So wear the breastplate of righteousness and never take it off. Finally, the Bible tells us to pray. Prayer is also a piece of God's armor. We can't fight the battle in our own strength, no matter how strong we think we are. The Bible is full of great men and women who depended on God in prayer. And as we have learned, even Jesus himself prayed to his heavenly Father and taught his disciples to pray. Boys and girls, our time is about up and we have to go. Oh, thanks for coming today. I hope you never forget all that you've learned about prayer from God's Word. I pray that all who hear my voice become a good soldier of Jesus. I pray that you will become an armor Ron. Neighborhood Bible Club, come along and go with me.